Let's explore, shall we? Now we're up here looking at the movie cars that are up on the top floor, like I mentioned. The first one we see is from the 2014 RoboCop, which doesn't really excite me because I liked the one from 87, but as we were walking by I noticed they actually have one from 1987, so. And this was driven in Die Another Day. The spikes. Now, Breck likes to talk about things that aren't street legal. I'm not so sure this would be street legal, but then again, I don't keep up on the laws. And then this wasn't here last time. Obviously not the one from the cartoon. <laughs> but uh, Speed Racer. That was a great show. And a cool car. I mean, check out those fins. Now this is not one of the real Hill Valley police cars. I don't think. Maybe it is. Let's take a look. I thought it was a model. Or like a, uh, a prototype or something like that. Yeah, this was a prototype of the 2015 Valley Police Cruiser. You can actually see on there. I kind of like that. That's a cool design. Now this, this is the one that was actually in 1987 RoboCop. The 2043 Omni Cruiser, or Omni Consumer. That was the future in the 80s. <laughs> Look how bad the seats are now. Good grief. Those tires sucks. Now here it says we have an original Knight Rider. Let's check it out. Michael Knight. Yeah, I've seen these before. I've seen the replicas and they always use like stickers, so that's definitely legit. Now that alligator is from Death Race 2000. Stallone, Carradine. Look at the interior. Whoa. Then this is the car from the Green Hornet. Bruce Lee. Kato. There's the Green Hornet back there. It's so cool. One of the actual ones. And there's a picture of when they did a guest appearance on Batman. And there's Bruce Lee right there. This is a 1966 AMT Piranha driven in the TV series The Man from Uncle, 1964 to 68. It's kind of cool some of these have survived, especially like the uh, the Dukes of Hazard cars. I read at the time they had like a $1,500 budget per episode, so they would just get like a body of something that was close, paint it up, and just use it for like one take and destroy it. They had hundreds of General Lees. That's the actual car. It's pretty rad. My favorite word of the day. <sighs> and this is called the 1965 Winfield Reactor, the Catmobile, driven in the TV series Batman, 1966 to 68. I like how that top comes off. 
And of course, the good old bat cycle used in the TV series from 66 to 68. And it says used in the movie 1966, which I love. I, I love the Batman movie. Oh yeah, you can see that's velvet. That bat symbol on top of the, right there, that red one. That's actually velvet. And there we have the classic Bruce Wayne, Adam West, Burt Ward, Batman that we all were introduced to in the 60s. I never get tired of seeing that, the George Barris. Now this is the 1966 replica. I just noticed this O.J. Simpson artwork in here. Walked by and I'm like, wait a minute, is that supposed to be O.J.? You can see all the helicopters and everything. That's after the chase. The selling the O.J. memorabilia there. Yeah. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed checking out the top floor of the Peterson Automotive Museum today. Thank you Heather Winchester, Matt Nightwolf, and Tracy McMurray for becoming my newest Patreons. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night and goodbye.